All right, I'm back. Now, as you can tell, we were pretty much just here. I died. Decided that it was going to take me way too long to get back to where I was. And so just loaded the game. So this time we're going to go a little bit more to the side. And then, well, it's not like the su jump surprised me or anything like that. I decided to take it, and it was more than I could handle. I, th for some reason, thought this vehicle could take it. Wow. The game is chugging here. And that I wouldn't die in it, but that's not what happened. Alright. See if we can actually find a legitimate way down instead of just jumping. And I don't think this is a... Nope. But I do have an idea. Because I can actually just jump it. Oh man, there's some big creatures down there. Oh, I thought I could stand on that. There we go. There's some like floating bacon. That is odd. Oh, and there's a sphere here. Probably don't want to deconstruct the sphere. There we go. Anyways, let's see. So, base 3, I actually put a marker near the bases, is that way. So, uranium's that way, I probably need to go over here. There's poison right below us. There's just bacon up in the trees. Well, no. Okay. That was odd. Uh, don't have anything on me. Let's build the vehicle again. Oh, gotta put gas in it. There we go. Alright. And there's poison that way. I don't, at the moment, have enough life to take that. Right into the tree. Oh, fun. Alright, whatever. Let's just go pick up some of that bacon. berries here and I'm trying to keep my ears open for any growling creatures oh, it looks like I've already picked from that one because I'm pretty sure I've been through here before it looks familiar and in this game you can't just say that like every area looks different from other areas so much so that if you feel like you recognize an area, you've probably actually been there before. It's one nice thing about this game. Oh, 
There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up. And we'll just leave that there. Okay. do anything here. Nope. Alright, so you know this area is not that great for vehicles. Much better for jetpack. Too many drops. Yep, definitely been here before. I think this is it. <clears throat> yep, this is it. I recognize those creatures. Well, I mean, they're the same creatures all over the game, but they're patrolling in the same area, as they always do. Anyways. Okay. For some reason I was looking for the vehicle in my inventory. Alright, here we go. I've seen another cave in this game that I don't really have the time for and I don't exactly remember where it is. But this cave here... is pretty unique, even from the other cave. There are spiders everywhere. Oh, man. Okay, so this update of the game has added a lot more creatures in this cave. There were nowhere near this many. And I did see the worm back there. I'll have to go get it later. And the one up there. But they have definitely added onto this cave. Um, there's a bigger spider there. Well, I never thought of this cave as safe before, but now I really want it. You can still hear that sucker behind me. Is he as fast as my vehicle? That's just creepy. And another spider. Great. I'm just going to have a ton of these things launch out at me at the bottom here. I wanted to show you that area there. There's some uranium in there, but I might have to get to the base. Oh, don't spin out. There we go. from doing the walkthroughs and some of my past experiences in playing this game these uh, spider things never seem to stop chasing you which is why I'm kind of just running back up this walkway I don't want to just jump out and suddenly be attacked I want to be out of the vehicle and ready to do whatever I need to do speaking of which it's probably not a good idea that I didn't take my fuel with me so we'll switch these out for the Blade Runners. There's something up there. Oh, do the spiders actually stop following you now? Or is that one after me? Okay. 
that's going to make this so much nicer. I don't know how these things are going to work on the smaller spiders, just because... Yeah. Oops. Uh... Where did it go? I don't like the reload. Okay, I got that one. Nope. Oh! Okay, there's some things bashing is just better for. Jeez. Those things actually have drops now. Ooh, okay. I do not know how I did not lose any health on that. Okay, so I have a beacon over here. And I'm approaching slowly. I think there's just the one. Nope, there's another one. Okay. Sometimes these things still make noises when they're dead. That's terrible. Anyways. Let's move over here, just so we don't have to hear that. Okay. So now this thing, notice on the bottom left, it's giving us the radiation signal. I can't even get close to this stuff. Do I have... How close I can actually get to that thing. So here's going to be another problem. Let's see. No, this stuff is actually the material itself is actually a problem too because it'll actually. Um, when I first initially found it, I got close enough and started mining it before I realized that I was actually hurt. And then, um, I couldn't stop, like, I tried running away from it, and it didn't help. And eventually, I figured out that if you're anywhere, if you have it in your pocket or anything like that, then it'll still hurt you. So, but anyways, um, I'm not sure when uranium is actually going to be implemented in the game and how they're actually going to go about uh, you picking it up. I don't know if we're going to be able to build a suit that's going to protect against it. I think that's got to be it. Because that's how we protect ourselves against poison, essentially, was with a gas mask. So, it's the only thing that makes sense to me, but... Uh, Partially building this power line down here, not just for... Um, I'm preparing for it. Like, it probably won't come for another couple of months here anyways. But um, also because when you build something, then things stay away from it. So like, now that I've built this, if I reload into the game, uh, there won't be any of the mobs there, so none of the spiders will be there. So I'll, I won't connect that up right now because that'll actually um, cause a problem with me getting anywhere around that. But it's at least marking the area and I'm ready to go if I need to. So, 
Anyways guys, so I wanted to show you my base. This was kind of a much longer tour than I expected here. Um, but I hope you guys liked it. There was a lot to see. I haven't even really shown you guys all the different sites and everything like that. Um, I can probably do that real quick here before I leave. At least show you another portion of it. It's just mostly the outcroppings of, uh, or the outposts, not outcroppings, outposts of uh, miners and things like that. So there is also the geothermal area. Found a couple of nodes for that. So let's actually take this vehicle back. Kind of twisting it on purpose, anyways. Let's go grab some more fuel. As you guys can see, I have some of the oil generators up here. I guess it's a decent amount, but it's mostly the area over by the oil patches that I'm getting most of my stuff, so... So now over here I just have a few things so I'll just show you that area really quickly here and then we'll go ahead and look into ending the video there so the uh, these miners I haven't used yet but I have my plans for them but they're iron ore I have the one limestone one over there I don't think you could see the miner for it um, these two bring in a couple of different things I'm bringing in what is this? This is one of the new materials here. The sulfur. It doesn't even have a uh, thing on it. This is just like a... Like this is not the pattern they're going to be using. And then I have coal. So... Yeah, let's go death this way first and then I'll show you the other coal since we'll kind of form a circle and you'll be able to see the rest of the base essentially. kind of hard to show you everything since it's been s I've been building this for so long and sometimes I don't even revisit areas that I've uh, built off of until I need to update them like I recently updated this it was all on the ground now it's all in the air So when I first actually built this area, this would have been great for a video, but uh, I just built the conveyor belt to get up on top of that coal area up on the top of the hill that we can see there. And as I was building up to it, I realized there was a couple of those fire spitters there and I didn't even have this, I just had that taser uh, weapon. And so I ended up building it while running away from them in circles. And then just running back down the conveyor belt. And that was pretty much it. Oh, they've added a slug up here. Like, I know I've gotten all the slugs from around this area, but I'm seeing slugs in areas that I haven't seen before. That's kind of cool, though. Alright, anyways. And then we have... And I'm pretty sure this patch over here wasn't here before, because I've been all around the base. So with this update in the experimental, they added on the sulfur patch here. I've seen sulfur patches before, it's just I don't think this one was here. There was another patch that was somewhere different. And I think they've added on more berries and things too. 
I switch this out. Let's see. Uh, it froze for a second. Okay. There we go. I can get up those pale berries. Alright, I think through this area it might be better to use the Blade Runners. There's not a lot of drops. There are some, so I gotta be careful. But anyways, okay. Is that? Nope. Okay. Oh, hey, there's bacon. And again, I've scoured this area, and there's more stuff here now. So anyways... Just gotta be careful. Okay. So I have some stuff coming from up here. Should have just stayed up there. That would have been easier. Now I'm not using this at the moment. Oh, that's new too. More slugs. So, but I ended up uh, localizing a production area because I thought I was running out of room. And I just thought it was easier. Just around these two mine sites here, right here. So. I notice that's right next to the conveyor there. Just grab this slug real quickly here. I didn't quite make it. Darn. Uh, I s thought I was climbing on something for a moment. I better just stop moving. Pillberry. Okay. Alright, I shouldn't really go around collecting all of these right now. Anyways, as you can tell, I'm a lot more reckless when I have a jetpack on. Which has gotten me in trouble before. Alright, here's another area where I have the copper ore. Oops, almost fell down that. That would have been a bad thing. That is one drop area that you really don't want to go down into. I've been down there before though. And we have a couple of iron ore patches here where I have feeding off into more production areas that I am currently not producing anything off of. For my current factory. I just have those bars coming out of that. So when I need screws and bars or I could transform those into plates or something like that, I have them ready to go. But right now I'm collecting from so many other sources that I don't need those at the moment. I will soon. But here's the other coal base. Just built across here. Built a conveyor belt up and over. And this comes into the bottom portion of the base. Where I have that squiggly area of conveyor belts. Here's some more copper there. I have the one copper coming this way, so that way when it joins with those, it makes a full 450. I don't think I can get up like that. Nope. But a, four belt, a full belt of 450 items per minute. There we go. And then... I think this is it. Yep. Oh no, there's the Caterium out there. That's right. So here we have two ore patches up there, which I'm not currently using, but you have four here. And then you have the, um, oh, it's actually not showing me the name, but the limestone there. There we go. And there's another iron ore patch, or is it, th yeah, four, five, there's two more up there. So there's seven right here. The only problem is they're all like in pure, so it doesn't really do a lot. So you need like three of them to get a full line of belt, even with power slugs or power shards. 
All right, last thing here. Man, this is freezing quite a bit. I do not have that problem most of the time. This is how I initially found it, coming up like this. I just couldn't find a good way to build a belt like that. And there's the Caterium. And it's nice that it's a pure node too, so it gives me a good amount. That is very odd. There are a lot of things just in the sky. Huh. There's no berries on them. But there's like nothing on the ground. Huh. I think somebody screwed up the map. Anyways. <laughs> I'll probably have to make some notes of that and send that to the makers, the game makers, but anyway, so that's it for now. Oh, we have a rocket up there. Oh my goodness, shiny, but that's it for now, so if you guys like this kind of thing, please uh, like, subscribe, uh, make sure to leave comments if you like the base tour, if you want to see other things, or if you want some examples on things, I'm going to start putting together some videos. I already got that. Um, some videos on how I do certain things so that way you guys can actually see how I build the layouts um, for these. Um, you can also watch my walkthrough if you want to see me actually putting the base together um, all the way um, from the ground up. And that takes a while though, so... <laughs> um, but I try and section the videos off by titles and names so you can just kind of go to a part that you want if you don't want to watch the whole thing. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.